Ever since PlayStation launched in 1994, Sony has had an endless list of iconic characters filling in for the role of mascot. In those early years, this extended to third-party characters like Crash Bandicoot, Lara Croft, Cloud, and Spyro. They helped the PlayStation brand just as much as PlayStation helped them find success. As PlayStation became more established, Sony released more first-party games, introducing us to characters like Nathan Drake, Sackboy, Kratos, Sweet Tooth, and Jack and Daxter. Even in Japan, Doko Demo Isio's Toro is often considered to be PlayStation's mascot and continues to be used in promotion today. So while Nintendo has Mario, Xbox you could say has Master Chief, PlayStation has never had the need for a mascot. All these characters are PlayStation's mascot, a wide range of diverse characters that as soon as you see them that nostalgia hits. The list goes on, but none of these characters have ever truly captured that PlayStation spirit quite like Astro, a character who embodies the PlayStation brand itself. Astro and his world have shown us what happens inside our PlayStation consoles and accessories. In a way, a sort of self-promotion for Sony. It's charming, it's cute, and Astro's simple design and the easy and welcoming gameplay has made him a fan favorite. So to celebrate Astro's biggest adventure with Astrobot, it's time to look at where the character and the series started. This takes us all the way back to 2013 and the launch of the PlayStation 4. Pre-installed on all PlayStation 4 consoles is a tech demo called The Playroom. It was developed by a team within Japan's studio called Team Asobi, with assistance by Firesprite who collaborated on the visuals. The Playroom was designed to showcase the features of the DualShock 4 and the PlayStation camera, using augmented reality to do so. Your living room became part of the experience. While the game didn't feature Astro, it did introduce us to the AR bots. The Playroom launched with three minigames. AR bots gives us a look at the inside of the PlayStation 4's controller where these bots live. You can shake the controller, block the light, press buttons, and to really have some fun, swipe the touchpad and shoot each bot into the room. With the PlayStation camera, they can be interacted with and eventually sucked back into the controller. If you have two players, AR Hockey is a mode of air hockey that uses the controller's motion sensor, and the first to seven points wins. Then we have Play with a Sobi. This is a flying pet-like robot that can be interacted with, and in a way, is similar to iPet. Sony would later release four free add-ons to support the game. The first was My Alien Buddy, which was developed by Double Fine Productions. Toymaker and AR Studio used the second screen PlayStation app. Toymaker turned 2D drawings into 3D toys for the AR bots to play with, while AR Studio was built for aspiring streamers to make their own talk show. However, by far the best is Ninja Bots. Up to four players can join in to avoid traps and shoot shurikens. Sony really should have made this into its own game because it's just that fun. Moving ahead to 2016, Sony would release the PlayStation VR, and with that, they release a free follow-up game called the Playroom VR. Japan Studio, Team Asobi, and Fire Sprite once again collaborated for this collection of five minigames, plus one additional DLC later added. These were, of course, designed to showcase what was possible in VR. These games can be played by yourself, but what makes the Playroom VR special is how one person can use the VR headset, while up to four players can sit on the couch and play. Like Cat and Mouse, the VR player is the cat and has to spot the other players in action who are mice and need to collect cheese. Or Monster Escape, where the VR player is the monster, while everyone else needs to run away and avoid obstacles caused by the monster. But the real focus here is a standout minigame called Robots Rescue, and it's here where Astro is officially introduced. Sort of. Astro is unnamed in this game. Internally, during development, Team Asobi named him Captain Astro. He was intentionally designed with the blue PlayStation color and was made to stand out from his fellow robots. In this single level adventure, Astro needs to find all 20 scattered robots. Not all can be found by yourself as you'll need to work with another player to find the remaining few. 
There's platforming, exploration, fighting, all in Astro's quest to find his team. For many, Robot's Rescue was the highlight of the Playroom VR, and Team Asobi would take full advantage. So in 2018, Japan Studio and Team Asobi released Astrobot Rescue Mission for the PlayStation VR. Astro may have been introduced in Robot's Rescue, but Astrobot Rescue Mission was Astro's big, major debut. He finally had a name, and this was the start for the character becoming a major feature in the world of PlayStation. Rescue Mission completely expanded Robot's Rescue, with more levels, more variety, and new bosses to fight. Astro needs to travel from planet to planet and regroup his crew after they were lost in space. Every level has a number of robots to discover, with the goal being to find every single robot out there. In order to fight bosses, you'll need to have a certain number found to fight them. There are challenges to unlock which hold even more robots. This is basically one giant collectathon. Find the robots and build the crew back up. Astrobot Rescue Mission would be a hit title for Sony and a successful game for the PlayStation VR. It's often recommended as a must-play title for the VR, and is one of the best games for the headset. If you own a PSVR, you need to own this game. And thankfully, Rescue Mission would only lead us to bigger and better things. With the launch of the PlayStation 5 in 2020, preloaded onto every console was Astro's Playroom. For the very first time, anyone could easily jump in and play a game in this series. No gimmicks, no VR, just your PS5 and DualSense controller. Something you should have right out of the box. Once again developed by Japan Studio and Team Asobi, this was one of the last games by Japan Studio before Sony shut them down in 2021. While this is technically another tech demo, it's one of the most polished tech demos out there. It's short, but it actually feels like a full game that you won't forget once you're done. I've always said, if you're new to the PlayStation 5, Astro's Playroom is the first game you need to play. Not only is it one of the best games to utilize the DualSense, but this is the ultimate love letter to PlayStation's history. Every single bit of this game has something new to discover and smile about. Whether you've been with PlayStation since the beginning or later in its lifespan, this game has some sort of reference and easter egg you are bound to know. Finding collectibles of PlayStation consoles and accessories, the cute guest appearances that surprise you every time. You're just absorbed into the rich history that PlayStation holds. Astro's Playroom shows us what goes on in our PlayStation 5. Each level and area is a reference to the power and capabilities the PS5 can do. And mix that with the DualSense and it's an incredible time. I've never played another PlayStation 5 game that uses the controller as innovative as this game does. This is the game that shows us why Astro is such a great character and why games like this are needed on PlayStation. It's a solid platformer, one that's perfect for all ages. Even if you're the most hardcore gamer out there, it's nice to wind down with a game like Astro's Playroom. Relax and simply enjoy. The PlayStation 5 finally allowed Astro to stand on his own, to be a game for everyone. And the response to Astro's Playroom is incredible. All of this has led us to Astro's biggest adventure yet. Astrobot is the game every PlayStation 5 owner is looking forward to. It's the game Sony has needed for the longest time, and I can't think of a better way to celebrate PlayStation's 30th anniversary than with Astrobot. With over 50 plans to explore, it's up to Astro to use new powers, rescue even more bots, and reunite over 150 PlayStation heroes. This is my most anticipated game of 2024, and without a doubt, will likely be my top game of the year. It's pretty incredible to see how far this series has come. From a simple tech demo, to Astro's VR introduction, to wider popularity with Astro's Playroom. Sony has even capitalized on Astro with merchandise and appearances in Fall Guys and Sackboy A Big Adventure. It's safe to say that Astro has become one of PlayStation's greatest icons. What are your thoughts on Astro's legacy? Let us know down in the comments. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified about future content. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.